Hey guys! So, I have made a short version of my good guy review. Um, just in case nobody wants to listen to me ramble on for 34 minutes. <laughs> Anyways, um, that video also has the unboxing of the, of the doll and kind of like going all over the box and showing off the box. Um, as a, as a quick recap of the good guy box, because not many people are showing off the box. Um, yes, it's not fully screen accurate. It's a little bit wider, but that's for the safety of the, the good guy that's inside of it. So I'm okay with that. And then we got side of the box. The back of the box. And the other side of the box. And as you can see right behind it is my good guy doll. Look at him. All of this glory. Um, so just kind of doing a quick quick uh, review. Hoping to do less than uh, 10 minutes. <laughs> um, uh, most people are probably going to look at this video and say that uh, his hair is too short, um, kinda a little bit, like, this side is a little bit shorter than this side, but it's not too bad of me, it's not too bad for me to, like, to notice, like, yeah, of course, I'm noticing it now, but I, I, I'm, I just, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with it, I'm, I'm okay with it, plus, can't, I'm, I'm not gonna try and fiddle around with his hair and do cutting and stuff, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm good with that hair, uh, the color seems pretty, pretty good. Uh, I don't have many issues with that at all, or any issues with that at all. Um, other than just, you know, it's a little uneven, whatever. Um, quickly going over his eyes, they have the little tiny starbursts in them. They are not painted on. They are kind of semi-inserts. Uh, so, they're not, like, the actual eyeballs that you'd get from, or that you'd see in the actual movies. Um, they're kind of half circles. So, the eyes are dented in, and then, or the eye socket is dented in, and then, boop, they put in the eyeball. Um, so they are not painted. They look pretty damn awesome, though. Gosh. Uh, and it's freckles, smile, um... Some people complain that his neck is too too long. Uh, this is the head model for the um, uh, Chucky uh, for the uh, good guy doll used for Child's Play One. They can't say Child's Play One because uh, Univer uh, MGM owns the rights to Child's Play One, so they have to say Child's Play Two. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty much the model of Child's Play One. Um, so, his neck is not long. His neck is pretty much how it's supposed to be. Um, just kind of fixes his collar and he'll be fine with that. Um, his head does a full, oh, sorry, does a full 360. This is kind of hard with one hand. <laughs> um, his overalls. These do not come off. They're just there for decoration. Um, and his pocket is an actual pocket. Plus, his logo's not too bad. Um, actually, I've seen... I don't know if it's in all the scenes, but I do know in scenes of Child's Play 1, the logo is actually up here. So the people who are complaining that it's not in the middle, it was never in the middle. It was way up. Way up, up here. Um... I know that there have been some people who've had their logos in very terrible spots where it was so low that the S and the G were both being stitched. That is that, that is a little bit sad. Um I I got a pretty decent uh I got a pretty decent logo, so I'm okay with that. Uh then I got his hands. I've noticed that for most videos this hand is the one that squeaks. This hand doesn't squeak. I don't know why, but it's usually this hand. 
Um, I stretched out his sweater a little bit before I started this video. Um, if you see some that look really, really skinny, is because the sweaters um, are very fresh and they haven't been, you know, stretched out. So just stretch it out a bit and fluff it up and it should be fine. Then go down here. There's a lot of extra materials with the cuffs, so if the cuffs are too long or looks too long, you can fiddle around with that and make them shorter. Um, I did this because I believe I've seen it in the actual movies that one shoe would say good and the other one would say guys. Um, I had to take the shoes off of him and I had to um, uh, fix this all by myself. If you have no patience, don't do it. Uh, it, it, it was kind of a little pain in the butt, but, um, be careful when you take off the, off the shoes so that you don't kind of screw up the, um, the foot at all. Also, eh, let's see. Eh. Also, he, you can kind of see, he actually has real socks on, um, which is cool. Uh, and we will turn him to his back. Um, and he is, his clothing are pr is pretty much screen accurate. Um, it's, it's all, it's elastic and the straps are Velcroed in like the movies and the back of the shirt is Velcroed with a little tiny, little metal clippy thing there right up at the top. Um, that, these are both pretty much screen accurate. Uh, the, um, the overalls are Polaroid. They're actually, they're actually Polaroid. So anyone saying that they're not, it's, it's, it's the cameras not being able to, to show the material. And his sweater is not printed. His sweater is actually knitted or whatever that's called. Uh, and then you got the back of his shoes and more of his socks. Now let's quickly sit him down so I can show him the best part. Um, I think even in the movies that the best part of the good guy doll was his shoes. Now, look at those. Those are awesome. Those are awesome. Like, these are, these are pretty awesome. Um, yeah. So, if you want just a quick look at the good guy, this is, this is him. Um... If you wanted to look uh, more deep into it, I do have another one. Um, I'll see what I can do with linking them, because I'm not good at YouTube. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll try and get a link for that, uh, so in case you wanted to watch the whole big one. Uh, just kind of quick thoughts. Um, I've been a huge fan since the movie came out. Um... Uh, I don't fully remember the movie until I was about three, which is when Child's Play 2 came out, and I've been a big fan of Chucky and the Good Guy doll ever since. Um, and that was back, yeah, that was yeah, back in uh, 1990. Um, or 91? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, anyways, I, like, if you don't have the money to spend on a custom doll, um... $500 American for one of these is probably the best you will ever get. Um, his uh, body is foam. Kind of a foam and the inserts are uh, the, the, oh, what's it called? The, 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 the skeleton on the inside is a hard plastic that is made of, um, uh, that people would use for, um, uh, hip replacements, so the inside is super strong, um, the foam, you know, it's, it's there to be movable, um, if you have $500 to spend or to waste and you want a good guy doll, this is the best option you will ever get, um, it is the most screen accurate good guy I have ever seen, um, if you're not a big fan of the, um, S Stitch Chucky, this is the best you'll ever find, for the price that it is, especially now, like, there were some that came out that were cheaper, but this was, like, years ago, so they're going for, you know, 
$1,300 now. So, you know, $500 US, this is probably the best you're going to get for the most screen accurate dolls. Um, yeah, uh, if you want to look at the longer one, I will try and link it. Um, yeah, I, 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 fi I find that this is the, the best, I, the best $500 I have ever spent. Um, yeah, there he is. Say bye.